Calaroga Shark Media. Hey there, basement dwellers. It's your host, Journey Joe, back with another deep dive into the wild world of streaming TV. Today, we're talking about the season finale of The Boys Season 4, titled Assassination Run. And let me tell you, folks, this one's a doozy. First off, can we talk about how this episode kicks things into high gear right from the start? We're dropped into January 6th, with electoral votes being counted and Dakota Bob Singer about to become president. The boys are juggling two major objectives, protecting Singer from a shapeshifter assassin and perfecting a virus to take out Homelander and Victoria Newman. Talk about high stakes. The shapeshifter storyline really comes to a head in this episode. We get some intense scenes with the shifter impersonating Annie, even proposing to Huey. It's a wild ride watching Huey and M.M. try to play it cool when they figure out what's going on. But man, when it all goes down, it goes down hard. The fight scene where the real Annie finally takes down her doppelganger is brutal, but oh, so satisfying. Now let's talk about the big shocker of the episode, Butcher's new powers. Just when you think you've seen it all, our gruff anti-hero sprouts tentacles like some kind of Doc Ock wannabe and literally rips Newman in half. I mean, talk about a jaw-dropping moment. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out in the final season. And speaking of jaw-dropping, how about that scene with Butcher Ryan and Grace Mallory? I did not see that coming. Poor Ryan accidentally killing Mallory is a game-changer, folks. It's a pivotal moment that seems to push him further towards the dark side, and I can't help but wonder how this is going to affect his relationship with Homelander going forward. Of course, we can't talk about this episode without discussing Homelander's power play. Exposing Victoria Newman's soup identity on live TV? That's a bold move, even for him. It's clear that Homelander is done playing by anyone else's rules. By the end of the episode, he's essentially taken control of both Vought and the country, with a new puppet president under his thumb. It's a chilling vision of what America could become under Homelander's rule. One thing I really appreciated about this finale is how it manages to balance all these intense, world-changing events with some smaller, more character-focused moments. The performances across the board are stellar, but I've got to give a special shout-out to Anthony Starr as Homelander and Carl Urban as Butcher. These two continue to knock it out of the park with their portrayals of deeply flawed, complex characters. Now, I know some folks have had issues with how certain storylines were handled this season, particularly Huey's arc and Starlight's struggles with her powers. And yeah, I get it. But I've got to say, I think this finale does a pretty good job of tying up loose ends while also setting up some intriguing questions for the final season. Speaking of which, how about that post credit scene teasing the return of Soldier Boy? Talk about leaving us wanting more. Overall, Assassination Run is a roller coaster of an episode that really epitomizes what The Boys is all about. It's got shocking violence, dark humor, biting social commentary, and some genuinely emotional moments. Sure, it might be a bit on the nose with its political satire at times, but that's part of the show's charm, isn't it? As we look ahead to the final season, there are so many questions left to be answered. What will Butcher do with his new powers? How will Ryan's turn to the dark side play out? What role will Soldier Boy have in the final act? And of course, how will it all end? One thing's for sure. The Boys has never been a show to pull its punches, so I think we can expect a wild ride for the final season it's clear that even four seasons in, this show is still capable of surprising us. So what do you think, fellow basement dwellers? Did the finale live up to your expectations? Are you Team Homelander or Team Butcher at this point? And what are your predictions for the final season? Sound off in the comments. That's all for this episode of TV in the Basement. Join us next time when we'll be diving into... Well, you'll just have to tune in to find out. Until then, keep it weird and keep it basementy, folks. This is Journey Joe, signing off.